Hello again. This is a special video in which we will review the most important aspects of chapters 57 and 58 of the second part of Don Quixote de la Mancha. Let's review. In chapters 57 and 58, Cervantes resets the basic elements of his novel as we approach its conclusion. Altisidora's ridiculous protests recall the racial issues associated with Aldonta Lorenzo, and she also highlights the issues of theft and injustice associated with the Inquisition and the expulsion of the Moriscos. The series of saints, with particular emphasis on Santiago Matamoros, does something similar. Which is the ideal Christian knight? Perhaps there is something positive and negative in each of them. The two encounters that follow, first with shepherdesses who hunt multicolored birds with green nets, and then with a herd of bulls being driven through the same space, reposition Don Quixote as both a hero and a problem. In other words, a protagonist, but also an antagonist. Either he can be pacified by a kind of pastoral utopia, or he will erupt in violent anger. Perhaps these two states are related. Don Quixote's effort to assert the honor of the shepherdesses is what leads to his confrontation with the bulls. Cervantes is suggesting that a peaceful, multi-ethnic civilization cannot exist on its own without police or soldiers to defend it. But shame and self-abnegation are also important themes here. If only we could behave like Saint Martin, who displays charity towards the less fortunate, and also like Santiago, who resists our enemies. But even then, is there not a fundamental paradox in the idea of a Christian knight? And what about St. George? Is it right to go to war in order to save another culture's women from its men? That's all for our review of chapters 57 and 58 of the second part of the novel. Keep reading. The story only gets better in the coming chapters. Thank you.